Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to quickly give you a rundown on one of the new scripts or tools that will be available to you guys uh, to help you convert an existing mod to a version 2.4 compatible mod, um, which will unlock multiplayer access, an advanced loot filter, uh, all sorts of in-game storage and other goodies for you. Um, but this will simplify that process and just make it easy. Um, so with that said, as usual, if you guys are liking this kind of content, Make sure you like and subscribe, helps everybody out, and definitely be sure to check out the video description below for links to our website, Discord, Patreon, and the tool that we'll be using today. Without further ado, let me just jump right into it. Um, so in the uh, download that you got from either the website, our Discord, the video description, uh, you'll find this uh, converter script um, you know, in there for you. Um, and it doesn't really matter where you save or run this script. Um, so all we're going to do is just right click it and select the run with PowerShell option. Um, if you don't have uh, full admin access rights, you might get a message that says you need uh, um, authorized scripts on your computer. Uh, you can just copy paste that error message into Google and it should spit you out the, the command you need to type in uh, to enable that on your computer. Uh, but assuming you know, you've already done that or you don't need to, um, then you should see something like this. Um, it may change slightly depending on versions, improvements, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but this will be the basic rundown of it. Um, so I'll try to keep my yammering to a minimum, but you guys know me, I, I do love my yammering. Um, so let me explain a little bit about what this does, how it works, some of its limits, things like that. Um, so as I mentioned, this will help convert to version 2.4. If you're not aware, version 2.4 is special um, because it still has access to the TCP IP enabled feature um, through the special build uh, that we've unlocked. Um, so with that said, that means that um, while there are some drawbacks because you've downgraded to an older version, um, so certain things like Sunder Charms or Terra Zones, uh, if those are important to you, uh, will not be initially available. They may be down the road because again, we now have custom access um, to this version. Um, but it also means that we have some additional benefits that just simply won't be possible um, in the kind of retail based version um, because of this uh, extra access uh, that we have. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let you guys read along as I yammer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and type in yes, we would like to read some info about benefits and drawbacks. Um, so upon converting to patch 2.4, um, some of these uh, again benefits and drawbacks uh, will be applicable to you. Um, so for me personally, the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks. But again, depending on your preferences, um, it may be a deal breaker and you might not want to, you know, uh, go through the conversion process in the first place. Um, but some of the big benefits that you can expect um, are obviously multiplayer access itself. Um, you'll have an advanced dynamic loot filter so um, you can truly hide or... Um, display items how you want. Um, you can even set specific conditions based on what stat values they have and all that kind of stuff um, like you might have been more familiar with from the legacy side of things. Um, you'll also have a much more expanded in-game storage sim system uh, similar to plug y or something if you've experienced that before uh, where you now have 64 pages of seven shared tabs and that's technically expandable um, but i do think you guys will probably be happy with even that um, and then there's also some other quality of life improvements like uh, the save file size has been increased uh, four times max player count max gold all that kind of stuff has been increased um, you got some advanced hotkeys if you want to transmute or identify, etc., with a hotkey press, um, you got all these kind of additional QR controls there. Um, but as I did mention, because this is on patch 2.4, there's also some additional downsides um, of things that Blizzard themselves uh, have added since then. Um, so you will lose uh, access to those features. And as I mentioned, while they may come back in a future time, um, they're likely either very difficult or very time consuming to add um, because we don't have the same level of access that Blizzard did, uh, nor the same development team and, you know, resources and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, uh, while it's not impossible, I just wouldn't count on it. I wouldn't hold my breath, as they say, um, for these particular features. Um, just kind of take it, you know, with a grain of salt for that. 
Uh, but anyways, um, this is just kind of the general rule of thumb um, of what you can expect and you know we'll try to keep this updated as we constantly add new improvements and things like that um, that make it more worthwhile but we're gonna pretend that we like all these changes um, all that quality of life and stuff sounds great and we're gonna continue with conversion by typing yes again and so now it's gonna ask for is basically the path to the mod that we're trying to copy um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use your mod it as a guinea pig like it so frequently is and we're gonna go ahead and paste that in there and then it's gonna ask us where we'd like to store the converted mod and uh, like I said we're doing this uh, to kind of support the multiplayer scene um, for players who want to you know experience mods together that aren't currently supported um, so we are going to select the D2R Lion mods folder uh, that we're already using for some other mods and we're going to paste that in there. And then finally we just need to give the mod a name. Um, so the only reason we're not naming it the same exact thing as it was uh, is for the save folder. Um, so because these have some differences in the save bits and things for the character, uh, they will not be compatible between versions. Um, and so with that in mind, we don't want to use the same save folder name uh, because then uh, the game will try to load, you know, a uh, a character from the other version that is not compatible um, and it will cause a game crash um, and yeah they just won't even really have a chance to you know understand why it's crashing um, so anyways we just want to name it something different it doesn't really matter what um, so a lot of people might just add dash mp at the end or something like that for multiplayer just to let them know it's a multiplayer version of the mod and that when they go in their save folder um, you know they're separated like that um, we're going to just name it testing uh, just because i already have a shortcut that uses that um, and again this is just going to make it very clear you know which mod is the one we're converting um, so so once you've done that you should see a whole bunch of blue text like this just letting you know that you know the specific files that need to be have been converted um, now speaking of files that need to be converted um, this is only going to address edits that are strictly required for compatibility purposes um, so something like a new column or a new row that the old version just would not understand how to use and would also cause uh, other columns or rows to get misaligned and be read improperly um, that is a required you know conversion change that that needs to be edited um, something like blizzard adding a new rune word or um, adjusting some unique or uh, a skill or monster stat you know etc um, it's not strictly uh, required um, for that conversion process that's just an optional change they made after that um, that will be ignored um, and that also applies to any of your edits you know again as long as it's not something that's specifically against the conversion um, then you don't have anything to worry about as far as that goes um, anything in yellow is going to be a message it thinks you should know about um, so this first yellow kind of warning message um, we can actually ignore it but it's just letting us know that one of the files it found doesn't exist in our mod so it was unable to convert it um, in this case that's totally fine that just means um, it's going to use the default one from cask anyways so basically if you didn't edit it then there's nothing to convert in the first place um, the last uh, yellow warning message however is something we do need to look at um, that's telling us that um, our states.txt file um, had its rows reduced or truncated um, to 255 uh, rows due to the conversion to 2.4. Um, if we scroll up and we go back to those drawbacks, we can take a look at that last note um, that again lets us know that one of the changes uh, that came uh, post 2.4 was Blizzard expanded the file limit from 255 rows to 511. So if your mod happens to use more than 255 rows already, then you'll need to account for this, rejigify things, uh, you know, warn your player base about some feature that they might lose out on, whatever. Um, but yeah, you'll you'll want to account for that. So again, it just kind of lets you know in yellow that hey, this is something you'll need to to address. Other than that, everything went smoothly, and we're gonna assume that you know I've taken care of this and I've you know reordered things or whatever to make some room for 
for everything I need um, and all the conversion is done so I'm gonna go ahead and just press a key to close it and we can see here now that we're back in our detour land mods folder and we can see that new folder has been created and if I go in here all the folder structures and even the mod info file and stuff's been updated um, so that it has all the new information um, now a quick note on this uh, this mod was previously supported by detour lanch uh, detour lanch sorry <laughs> <laughs> due to our launch um, and uh, so it has some additional configuration uh, to control the news messages the file downloads uh, things like that um, now because we've converted it um, for d 2 lan it's a different files all that kind of stuff um, you will want to update this as well if you have already added d 2 launch support um, to you know enable this for d 2 lan also so it doesn't download the single player version of the files and stuff for your players because you never updated this um, obviously if you haven't added d 2 launch support um, and it looks you know just something like this then you know you don't have anything to worry about there um, nothing to update uh, just like uh, if you didn't convert anything um, so uh, other than that um, everything should be good to go um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I've created a shortcut already here um, I'm just gonna go into properties and show you that though and as you can see here I'm just telling it to launch a mod uh, name testing with text files so uh, let's go ahead and start that up and assuming I didn't break anything here uh, we should see that working All right, and there we go. So we can see here uh, we're on the new mod now. Um, I actually should have focused on it. Let me try one more time. Um, if we look in the bottom right as the game is loading, you should see the build number for the old version, 69.270. That, again, is patch 2.4, so we know we're playing the old version. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and log in the game. Uh, as you can see, I already had a test character created, um, but we're going to go ahead and hop into that. Actually, let me create a new character just for argument's sake and we're going to show that everything is active um, and that you can you know load in game and play and all that kind of stuff it's not just for show and there you go um, so this will help you convert your mod from the more retail based version 2.8 um, to the multiplayer enabled version 2.4 um, and then obviously any mod adjustments or such that you need to make beyond that feel free um, but we will definitely you know try to support everybody keep things um, improved and updated uh, as far as the conversion script and stuff goes um, so obviously if you guys run into any issues or something I am only human believe it or not um, so I do make mistakes um, so if I forget something or there was an error in coding whatever um, just let me know and I'll get that addressed as soon as I can um, but I have done testing on it kind of as you can see um, and everything should be good to go um, but yeah um, I hope you guys can enjoy this uh, quick and easy way to get everything prepped and feel free to use this for again a mod you've cobbled together um, a mod that says that they don't support multiplayer but really they do they're just too lazy to edit things that kind of thing um, you can go ahead and use a script to kind of solve that problem for you um, and again it won't balance everything for you um, so you're on your own there but it will make it playable um, and you can use that with whatever disclaimers you'd like uh, so I hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.